Hello there, I'm just going to make a quick video on how to get started with the IDAC PLC. Um, you have the Win LDR V8 version and then you got the Win uh, OI version. The LDR is for your PLC, the purple one is for your screen. So we're going to do just a quick video on, on, on the blue one, which is for your PLC. When you click on it, And I guess let's give it time for you to load up. Uh, there it goes. If you get this screen, just hit close. Sometimes it goes back uh, straight to the programming screen. So you get that screen there. And you can stop programming there. But if you go to... If you go to, to configurations... And you go to PLC, it gives you all all your PLCs here that you can connect to. The one we're using is the uh, FC uh, 5A uh, 24R uh, 24R 2X. Uh, some of uh, some of us we might be using the FC 6A. So look at your PLC and, and see which one you have. Um, you can hit it as a hit as a default. Uh, I don't have it connected, so it's not gonna give me anything. Just hit OK. Um, so once you once you do that, you can go into Home. You can go into Basic, and there's all your normally open, normally closed uh, counters, timers, timers. Uh, you name it, shift registers and stuff, but we're just going to write a simple program and, and let you uh, get in there and get practice with it. So you can go in here with a normally closed, let's say for example, bring it in here, boom. And then if you double click it again, it'll bring you to this screen. Right here, you're going to give it an address. So it got I0. You put a, make sure that it's input up here. You can give it I0, for example. Hit close and then you can edit it and hit uh, I make all my students edit their program other the deal so you can put uh, stop for example and then hit OK and you automatically put it on there you can go up here for example and go farther and put it normally open so for example down here click it double click it Go up here, and since this has input, you click right here in the corner and go to your outputs. Boom. Once you hit your outputs, you uh, you can name that, or I'm sorry, that that was an input too. Input, yeah, and you give it another address, number one. You close it. You put start. You hit OK. Now you can go back up here. Now let's go to an output. And let's put it way back here at the end of it. Double click. Let's go back here. Let's go to input back here to output. And let's, let's do it. Give it that same address right there. And let's put uh, motor. Hit OK. And there you go. Well, now we need to um, highlight it. Well, we, there's different ways. You can go in here, go to your um, well, let's right click, and then you can go to line and go to horizontal. There's one way. Right click, line, horizontal. Right click, line, horizontal, and so forth. Like I said, there's different ways to doing it. I'm just telling you the basic way as, as, we, as we get closer and closer to this. Um, I'll show you other ways to do it. I just don't want to confuse you. So there's a simple program that you wrote. So now... Um, you can go into online 
you can go to simulation and you can once you're in simulation you can go here and click on it and it'll, it'll make it work you can turn it off and like I said on and off if you're gonna if you want to load it on a, on a PLC you go to download first of all you need to turn off your simulation now it gives you a chance to download now right here you got uh, download when you directly uh, and then you got system software download what I would do is I would hit my system software download it will give you this page right here system system water what, what it does it, it uh, updates your software constantly if you had that PLC sitting for I don't know months or years what it does is gonna up up you know it's gonna uh, update it so once you hit that and and mains is unable to open compore pipe well it's because I don't have a PLC connected to it so so I just hit cancel and then well, I can close it and and I'll do another video with it connected that way you'll see now there is a an issue that that I've I ran into that if you go into it'll give you a a sign and it should give you it'll give you a message that your M80 is turned on or off what you do is you go in here and you switch the state out of it of it so and like i said there's sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't so you just come in here and and play with it and turn it off you know or if it's off you turn it on so it's it's going to give you that um what else can i say well that's it for now and let me like i said uh, that's to get started just to communicate with your uh PLC also you can go into configurations or you can even go to online you can go to setup and then right here you hit since you're gonna be connected with serial I mean with a uh, USB you hit USB you hit OK so now it'll help it connect so when you download when you download you know then it'll it'll read it directly that's without the screen that's without your little monitor uh in the next couple of videos we'll we'll put one with the monitor and take you step by step as much as possible um if you have any questions please leave me a message and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and we'll we'll get it we'll get it going thank you